do this cleaning job. It's a test, cleaning test right there. Hi, I'm Ryan Cruzy, Cruzy Originals, back to you again. Today we are building the 2018 Fat Bob for the giveaway bike. You guys are gonna be able to win this bike. Once the bike is done, we will give details on how you can enter to win, but you gotta stay posted and watch it all the way to the end or you won't know shit. Uh, today we're gonna to put the rear fender on the frame rails. We're gonna set up a new tail light kit for this, tail light license plate bracket to eliminate the side mount stuff. We're going to do a new headlight, fancy new headlight. Baja Designs, new fancy headlight. New kit we just came out with, that's going on. Haven't got the seat yet. Hopefully you get the seat by the end of the day. Put a seat on it, do a couple other things. We got the levers in, they were the wrong color. I'm gonna make a new gauge mount for it. I don't like that shit, don't judge me on that. It's just a mock-up. I'm gonna change all that, kinda of make my own. And we're gonna try and get all that done today on Cruzy Originals. Because bike week starts next fucking Wednesday. Here we go. Boys might be ready for bike week. Although the rain set them back a whole day's worth of work due to f***ing off. Now after mild setbacks from the rain, we try to make up time with a custom fast unwrapped job of merely f***ing 17 feet of cellophane. Fresh from the powder coater. Okay, here we are. I'm gonna start with the rear fender. We've got a brand new OEM Harley Davidson rear fender. That was painted by CRD. CRD paint, custom paint, something like that. He's painting our bikes now, does really dope work, I'm happy. Uh, we're gonna install this new license plate tail light relocation kit. For this, the fat bobs only, it puts it up in here, gets rid of that side mount and that, and that goofy shit, whatever goofy shit they come with. Uh, also has no fucking brake lights whatsoever built into it. God damn it. A piece of shit, cocksucker. So today, we're installing the fucking cocksucker license plate relocation kit, and I'm gonna figure out where to put a tail light. Is there a non tail light version of this? It burns my ass. Fuck that pisses me off. I thought I was just gonna be throwing in a goddamn tail light today, and fuck no. Why would I ever think I don't have to make it myself? One super tech tip of the day, and you're putting a soft tail fender on. Definitely 100% easier to assemble the rails and all that shit this way before you put it on the bike because there's a bolt that goes inside here. It is a bitch to get to otherwise. You believe that shit? Ah, big one though. There you go. Got all wore out for battling that walleye.
it's in. The Cycle Vision plate relocation kit gets rid of whatever ugly shit these things come with. Puts this nice and smooth. It does not have a brake light. It is only a tail light light LED. But Jake has a nice little LED strip for me. I'm gonna put it up here, which I'll show you guys when we do it. I'm gonna put it up in the crease of this guy so you can't see the tail light, but it will light all this up in red and it will get brighter with a brake light. So it will be a brake and tail light, but it will be hidden, you know? So it just like illuminates red down through here. It should look pretty dope in theory anyways. I gotta get that light. I'll probably work on that tomorrow. That's not gonna get done today. I just wanted to get this mocked up, done. I'm gonna move on to the headlight because the headlight is some super dope shit I'm real excited about. Um, this guy right here will be available on our website yeah, sure as soon as this video is done. I think Trent's working on it right now. Yeah, uh, it's really easy to put in. If you're just gonna run it as no tail light, because most guys have the blinkers out here, so you don't need a tail light. You can just, it's two wires, just a hot and a, and a negative. You just run it to fucking ground and shit. It's a running light. That's easy to do. I'll show you how to do all that too when I get to it. Also, they're on the website now. CruiseOriginals.com. Available for Sportsters, Dynas, M8 Softtails, and Sportsters. Oh, yeah. Go buy it now. I'm gonna have this bike pretty much like together by the end of this video and we're gonna have a nice untaping so you can see what's underneath that tape because this thing looks dope. I'm gonna move on to this headlight. Also, I, I fucked up and got the wrong license plate mount. They have one with fucking lights built into it, don't they? They do. So they do have them with license plates. I had no doubts that he got the wrong fucking thing, but there we go. Should have lights in it. They can, you can get them with lights in it. They're available on the website with lights in it. You can get yeah. brake lights. It, it's the slick, slick light or slick something. It's on the website. You'll see it. Slick fucking something and it comes with everything or just a tag mount, which is what I fucked up and got. So put down in the notes, right, Trent, please get me the right shit, motherfucker. <laughs> hey man, the customers get the right shit. I don't get a lot of returns. Let them know you care about my feelings too, though, all right? <laughs> I don't ever get the right shit. I get fucked out here. I don't have a return policy for shit either. I'm just stuck with Trent. Come check this shit out. Secret, wait, wait for it. It's a little bit of a secret. Fuck. I'm gonna need tools for this secret. You can't look yet, hold on. All right, so here's the secret. It's a bracket. Pretty nice looking bracket. It's got an octagon in the middle for cage fighting small people. And it hooks to this Baja Designs LP6. Which then bolts to your motherfucking Cruzy Originals top mount headlight relocation kit. So you can now, I know, mine's blown, run an LP6 Baja Designs headlight, which I'm about to install one on this Fat Bob right now. It's the 30th, 23rd, 29th, 29th of February, January, March, March, 29th of March. You say January? Somewhere around there, I was gonna start wrapping them off till your facial expressions let me know I was at the right one. <laughs> February, March, March, March it is. <laughs> yeah, so it's the 29th of March, easily. It'll probably be out after bike week, April 10th, April 15th or so. I found my fist gloves. Heather stuffed them up on some shelf behind some shit in the den, because that's where I keep my gloves hidden <laughs> as far away from me as possible. Where do you want me to put your gloves, honey? Ah, uh, somewhere I'll never find them. <laughs> you know, yeah, that was Don't tell me about that it was either. that was payback for you stealing her blanket. <laughs> oh yeah, her moving. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where's my blanket? What blanket? That one that was on the couch. I'm like, I thought that was a fucking moving blanket. It looks like a moving blanket. So I brought it to the shop. We've been laying parts on it, you know. No, it was some fancy blanket she bought at some hippie store that sells moving blankets at an overinflated price. Now, 
as you can see, this guy needs to be shortened, so we're running a, a quarter inch shorter stud. And then we're going to slot this so I can turn, I can rotate this, because right now, I could rotate the bracket back, and then rotate the headlight up, and then close this gap, this gap up a little more. Or I could do it forward and bring it out, forward, backwards, whatever you need to do if you got a fairing, something like that, to get it to fit a clamshell just right, or a T-Sport fairing, this way you can really get some swing on her when it's all said and done. But for right now, it looks pretty hard. Uh, I'm gonna, you got that wiring diagram for me? I need the head, I need a headlight wiring diagram for this bike. Mm-hmm, give me four quarts, a regular. Who sang it? Comment down below. Uh, moving on. While he gets that shit, I'm gonna pull this uh, gas tank off and assemble that some bitch. Ooh, that's, that's part of it. Now, we will play the game of is all of the shit for this gas tank still here and findable? Usually never works out too good. Fuel pump, drain plug. I think we're dialed. I could be amazed right now. This should not be painted. When gas and paint are involved with each other, it's not a good, they're not a good family mix. So, when you have a seal, such as this seal right here, and this is painted all the way, if, even if it's sealed, the paint's gonna start seeping underneath the paint and all that Bondo and all that stuff you just saw me sand off there, it's gonna seep underneath it and then it's gonna go underneath this and it's gonna work its way through the whole tank and just ruin your paint job. You gotta take it down to the bare metal. Same where the gas cap goes. If the paint goes down into where the filler neck is with the gas cap and that's not raw metal, or if you wanna sand that to raw metal and do a little JB Weld, a little smear around the outside, that'll start seeping gas, fumes, anything will start seeping up underneath your paint job. And it'll blow your paint job to shit. So, I just took her down. Took her down to the metal. Now I gotta try and get this son of a bitch back in here. This thing is sucks. All right, here we go, bud. Easy fucking money, brother. Come on. Right it. Oh man. I gotta get this son of a bitch in there somehow. Man, I think that was the easiest I've ever put one in, hands down. I don't know how that worked out so good, but it did. Makes me nervous, <laughs> quite honestly. <laughs> Fucking cocksucker. Here, I brought you this notepad because this will zoom in and you can see it better. I'm like, I kind of prefer the old ink and paper, you know. Print me out a diagram so I can look at a whole sheet and then I can write on it and everything else. He comes back with this. I have to get it off of Google. We don't have that shit on a fucking, on anything. So I had to Google the harness and that's what you got. You know, sometimes beggars can't be choosers, you know? See, so I put it on his, on his iPad, you know? I was like, here man, I saved it on your iPad. You could zoom in, you know? You could like get the image and zoom in on it. It's all clear. Mr. Ink and Paper over there wanted it on Ink and Paper, so. Like an old school parchment. Parchment. You bring me some parchment. I mean, I could see it just fine. These readers right here? Man, here's a job for numb nuts today. What's up? Get CenturyLink on the phone, get the fucking phones fixed. Do I look technically knowledgeable of all this? You don't have to be. You I don't even know the codes of any of this stuff. Look down syndrome, be honest. <laughs> my mouth's all droopy right now. I went to the dentist. Stroke? Dude broke a drill bit in my tooth. You done using that arrow there? What do you need it for? I'm gonna suck this stuff out of here. Get the sucking on that hose. Then when you get done with that, I want you to get on the phone and get a hold of CenturyLink and get the phones fixed. Can I interest you in some veggie snacks? 
Yeah, no, no thank you. <laughs> Not a big vegetable guy here. My lunch today consists of hamburger patties and bratwurst. The only thing f***ing vegetables are good for is turning you into a woman. Oh, but if you eat vegetables, you lose some weight. The only thing vegetables are gonna let you lose is your f***ing masculinity. Pack up your stuff, okay? T27. I'm gonna pull the mount off right now and make a new uh, gauge mount. Mother fucking asshole! Every time, last one's gonna get me too. This is far from sleek. I want it to look a lot more sleek, you know what I mean? Let's go next door. Play with some metal shit. Let me find my Law Tiger gloves. Matt! Never mind, I found my brown coat, but it ain't worth you doing. Pretty much stopping right now for a minute. This needs to cool down. I did a, I, I know it needs to be welded back here, so I welded across the back and I got some tack points. And then I'm just gonna draw it out on the face once it's cool. I'm gonna draw it out with a pencil and then draw a couple designs, see which one I like the best, and then cut it out and make it look pretty. But for now, it needs to cool down, so I need some food and all that shit. It's about lunchtime. Be back in a minute. I think I'll shape that up a little bit and run it, weld it, finish it. Looks better, huh? At least. Yeah, it looks good. It's day two of building a Fat Bob bike that you can win for bike week in a short period of time and not much time to do it and extra drama that doesn't really need to exist. Wait, didn't you have a beard yesterday? Fuck. Yeah, I had a beard yesterday. <laughs> I did. So yeah, I had a beard yesterday. I was growing the beard just to get the mustache back. It's a lot easier to get through the old fucking looking weird mustache phase, which is still kind of there, but I was ready for the beard to go. And I got all fired up about some shit on the internet this morning, so I came in and did a ranting speech. So it's probably already out by now. You guys might have seen it, or if not, it's coming out. Believe that. Uh, I really didn't even need to get that fired up about it, honestly. People just tell me I should wear boots and jeans when I ride, and it makes me fucking irritated. <laughs> I've been hearing that shit for 25 years. We did a little bit last night. I finished this guy up, this gauge mount. I didn't, it's not together, but it's on the bike. I'm not real stoked on it, to be quite honest with you. There's just not a way to make how it mounts down here. It just, it is what it is. It's on there. It looks good. It's not... It's not how I want it to be, but I also don't have a lot of time to do much else with it. So it functions and it looks better than some, not as good as what I want it to. That being said, whoever wins it can enjoy it or change it. So I'm, I kind of, I think we have to have a, a speedo on it for like giving it to other people in other states just for laws and things like that. But if I were to win this bike, which that would be some real crooked ass shit if I did. <laughs> <laughs> But I would take this off. Also, got this gangster ass mob Saddleman Step Up Cruzy Originals Gripper. It's got the tuck and roll, it's got the tri gripper. That's that super grip. That's the next level. It's not one or two times more grippier, it's tri more grippier. You know what I'm saying? Got the logo in the back. Fitted, got the fancy little Saddleman aftermarket lock and key shit in here, security tab thing. 
little red donut down there. You get a little peek of the paint right now. Oh, satin white is so dope. It's got me so paranoid about touching it with my dirty hands and all that shit, though. I'm gonna wire up this fucking tail light then. You guys want to see how I wire up a tail light? Really, just involves me cussing and bitching mostly. <laughs> That's done. That was easy. Turn the lights off and see what that light looks like. Hey, Matt. Ooh, look at that fucking headlight, man. It just turned to daylight in here. That kind of ruined the whole brake light aspect of things, but. Trent, come flip this switch for me. Gotta get your pinky up in there. Push it back and down. Um, Butch Green from Green Brothers Designs just shot, stopped by. It's where we get like the brake linkages that are adjustable for the soft tails and the adjustable shift linkages, uh, axle kits, all kinds of rad shit. It's all on our website we get from those guys. He made, because we have the Harley Davidson bolt-on mid control kit for this fat bob. It's its its own shit, you know, it's a bunch of linkages. So he made us an adjustable brake arm linkage for it, custom for this setup, and a custom shift linkage. Pretty dope. That's some one off shit right there. And it's carbon fiber and some kind of high tensile aluminum shit inside of it. So this guy goes back in here and replaces this linkage back here, which moves this up and down and it will control the height of the pedal. So we're gonna, I'm gonna lower the pedal just a tiny bit. I'm gonna have Matt put this on later because you gotta pull all this stuff apart to put it on, and I don't wanna do it. So we'll move over to the other side and I'm gonna do the easy shit. You got denied, fool! I got denied? Yeah! Dirty cocksuckers. He gave you a refund. Asked, they gave you a refund, but they said, uh, like, they wanted to ask if you wanted another thing or if you just want the refund or. What's the refund? I don't know, whatever you paid for. So I got a personalized license plate. And they gave me the temp plate. Huh. That was that was it. Was I gave him this they gave boring me. old one, dude. So like three months later when my license plate finally shows up, it's just regular ass license plate. I didn't want a regular ass license plate. I want my license plate to say hung. I've wanted that for a long time. And I was denied, apparently. It was really to honor my great uncle William Hung. He was uh panda trainer from China that came over and fought in Taiwan for the Freedom Federation and he was uh, you know, a great dude wanted to honor William Hung but they weren't having it because you know he didn't fight for American pandas and they just you know closed minded motherfuckers they are look at that that's a oh, that's beautiful right there and you guys will understand here at the end of this video when I pull all the tape off this thing and you see what the paint job and everything's all about, why there's red and blue and white.
give to you the American from Cruzy Originals. It's the red, white, and blue. It's kind of like a mix between a Star Wars Stormtrooper, there's a little hint of a patriotic red, white, and blue in there because we love our country. She's a hot rod and it looks like a Hot Wheel toy. It doesn't look like a real motorcycle. It looks like a toy to me and that's what I love the most about it. Super, super clean. I still have red levers coming that will match some of the red things that are on here. Uh, I got an extension coming for the gauge. We still have to do that and I need to bleed the front brakes. Other than that, it's done. And I apparently need to put oil in the transmission still. But look at this. It's got a Legends Mono Shock in the rear, fully adjustable. It's got a Saddleman Cruzy Originals Tuck and Roll Gripper, full custom. TC Bros riser setup, Speed Kings bars. Michelin Commander 2 tires, custom paint, thrash and supply, super fancy exhaust with some shit on it. It's got a Nest Big Sucker with all of our covers. Harley Davidson factory or aftermarket Harley Davidson factory mid control setup. Cycle Vision rear subframe setup, whatever you want to call this thing. This actually looks really nice. It kind of fills out the fender. I have a hidden brake light in there. The motor's built. It's got a bunch of fueling shit inside the motor. It makes a bunch of power. The thing is fast and it can be yours. This bike can be yours. It's going to go live as soon as it is done and I ride it and I know it's dialed. We'll have probably two more videos come out. Once it's finished, we'll go over some riding videos, some, some riding footage. I'll do a little review on how I think the bike, how it feels, handles, all that good stuff. And then it's going to go live. It will go live on our website. We will be selling sticker packs and every sticker pack that you buy gives you a chance to win this motorcycle. It's going to be an expensive sticker pack. Trust and believe. <laughs> $100 a spot, but it's going to get you some stickers. And we're also going to have a first and second place. We don't really know what that is yet, but it will be something pretty solid. We're going to get that figured out. Probably a big gift certificate to Cruzy Originals or just some cool shit or maybe some money. But we're going to put something together like that as well once we've got the bike done and we kind of figure out how much money we have into this bike. I kind of got too excited and we spent a lot of money on the bike. But that's what we're doing right here. I think the whole point of this really is just to keep making money for Dave. So Dave can just take his time and heal and not have to worry about paying his bills right now while he's all f***ed off. And we get to keep building dope shit. Like that last bike we built, that was some dope shit. That last one we gave away, man, homeboy that won that was, that was a score right there. And we're going to keep doing this. It just, I, honestly, I love it. It's super rad to just build cool new shit. And this way we get to keep building rad stuff. And I think the next one we're going to do might be an M8 bagger. We're going to stay M8 and newer. It's going to be all newer stuff. We're going to build newer bikes, just, you know, nicer that way. You get more bang for your buck, more bang for your hundred bucks. The guy that won the last bike only bought one ticket, hundred bucks. He got like a, to buy that bike and to have us build it probably cost you about 40 grand easily because we put about 25,000 plus work into it. And it's a, you know, $17,000, $18,000 bike. Also, headlight kits, Bug Trent. They will be available probably within the next week. We're putting all the wire, we're gonna have plug and play wiring harnesses for them. Everything, like this shit will bolt right up, plug and play ready to rock and roll. It will not work with narrow glide front ends so far. We have to make some adjustments for that, but we're probably gonna make a setup for the LP4. It's a little bit smaller. The six is just a little too big to fit between narrow glide trees. It works with all mid-glide and bigger, all late model, Dynas, soft tails, any, really anything that's got a Harley Davidson spread on the risers, you can run this shit on the front of your bike, as long as it's not a narrow glide. But like I said, that will be figured out probably in the next week or two as well. So stay posted. Once again, I want to thank all the companies that came through and helped us out with this. Legend Suspension, always hooking it up with suspension. It's what we run on all of our stuff. It's my favorite. Uh, Saddleman C Company. You know that's our favorite. That's all we fuck with, period, when it comes to seats. Best shit on the market. Came through with one of our custom Cruise original style seats right there. Uh, Green Brothers Designs came through with all the dope linkages. That's also all we run when it comes to that stuff is Green Brothers Designs. They are the shit. Check them out, Green Brothers. Also, all this stuff is on our website. Everything's on our website. Everything's available. 
If it's not Google Cruise Originals, call the shop and say, Trent, this isn't available and I need it. And Trent will get it for you. Uh, bike Week starts next Wednesday. This bike's going to go to Bike Week. So if you're going to be at Arizona Bike Week, go to Westworld. You'll be able to see it at the Law Tigers booth, I believe. And it will also be on April 9th. It will be at the Rockford Fosgate headquarters uh, for their bike show as well, the V Twin Visionary Show. Come check it out. You can see it, get a good look at what you could possibly win. And we'll also have the race bike out there and my road glide. If, maybe, maybe have the road glide out there. Come see all that good shit. Check us out. Like, subscribe, stay posted. Tell like six friends this weekend. Go, man, I got to tell six friends about Cruise Originals and make sure they watch it because you know they're going to be hooked. Love you guys. Thank you. Peace.